40 year old asymptomatic male patient underwent MRCP. You can see pancreatic duct and sacular outpouchings in the tail region and in the body region. Coronal MRCP showing the pancreatic duct communication within a large IPMN. This is a IPMN in the region of head and uncinate process which can be compared with bunch of grapes. Another case showing hypodense lesion in the body of pancreas which was proven to be IPMN on endoscopic ultrasound. Borrowed case showing projection of main ductal type of IPMN into the ample operator here uniform enlargement of main pancreatic duct. It should be differentiated from chronic pancreatitis in which there will be peripancreatic fat stranding and also there will be calcifications. Illustration showing branch duct and main duct types of IPMN. IPMNs are broadly classified into branch duct, mixed duct and main duct IPMNs. Main duct type IPMN there will be focal or cystic dilatation of main pancreatic duct. It is important to localize the ductal communication and also ERCP helps us to visualize the interductal masses. As compared to the main duct IPMNs which are very common in the region of body, branch duct IPMNs can occur anywhere. Establishing communication with main pancreatic duct is important. As compared to the main duct IPMN, side branch IPMNs are less aggressive and there are less chances of it becoming malignant. Coming to cyst fluid analysis, high CEA levels are seen within IPMN and mucinous cystic neoplasms. Molecular markers like GNAS and KRAS can be seen in IPMNs. Serous cyst adenoma is a stellate lesion with central calcification. It occurs in elderly women of a grandmother's age group. It has less chances of it becoming malignant. Mucinous cyst adenoma, a unilocular cystic lesion, occurs more frequently in body tail region, can turn malignant in 6 to 15 percent of individuals. It occurs in middle-aged women of mother's age group. IPMN, similar to the mucinous neoplasms, can turn malignant. So, whenever you encountered main duct type of IPMN, it should be resected. Side branch IPMNs have least malignant potential among all the cystic neoplasms of the pancreas. Coming to the management, main and combined types of IPMN should be resected. Side branch IPMN can be considered for resection when the lesion is greater than 3 cm. Patient is having pain or pancreatitis accompanied by bile duct obstruction or sudden increase in size or having mural nodules or wall thickening on other imaging modalities. In summary, IPMN is a mucin producing papillary growth within the pancreatic ducts. Communication with main pancreatic duct is the most reliable feature for diagnosing IPMNs. Mural nodules, large size of the cystic mass, main ductal dilatation, multifocality, CBD obstruction are the malignant features of the IPMN. Thank you very much. Hope this video was useful for you.